For those that don't know or didn't understand how the name Arbao went, one day I was trying to figure out a name for my uh, stage name. And I didn't want to do like everybody else, like Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson. I wanted to be different. So what I did was I started playing with the name Libra. So what I did was I reversed it, spelled it backwards, and it came up with Arbile. Then later on I found out that that name Arbile is an Iranian name. They spell it E R. B-I-L. I spell it A-R-B-I-L. And so <laughs> I get people on my page from Iranian, you know, the Persian people, you know, they, hey, you know, what's going on? I'm not with you guys. I'm an African American. And uh, I just uh, chose that name because uh, it was different. But anyway, let me get into the uh, listening party. This is a uh, the Antidote Listening Party. This is a listening party for my fifth album. Um, I've got five albums. Um, 14 number one hits. Uh, one of the songs that I will be performing tonight is called Crazy. Crazy was, uh, for seven weeks it was number one at uh, Party Train Radio. And Party Train Radio is, uh, ran by a DJ by the name of DJ Carmi Scott out in Jacksonville, uh, Florida. Um, and, you know, it's, you know, I, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the type of artist that I don't try to compete with nobody. I do what I do. God gave me a gift. And I feel that being in the industry, being an artist, there is no uh, such thing as competing with one because God gave everybody a gift. So there shouldn't be a situation where you compete with another person. I can understand that you may like one person better than you like this person or that. But at the same time, competition, I'm not into that. I just give you what God gave me, which is the gift. Okay? Um, a little bit about me. I've been in the business um, for over 20 years now. I come from a musical background. My father, uh, his name was Robert Clark Higgins. He was a uh, alto sax player. He uh, was a studio musician. He played with uh, Shirley Scott, Stanley Turrentine, Wilton Felder. Um, and my uncle is uh, Billy Higgins, the uh, jazz drummer. So with that being said, I have all that behind me. <laughs> and I always tell the story uh, when it came to uh, uh, learning music. I um, eventually became a part of Dominguez marching band. I was a, a second, I played second trumpet. And uh, my father, he told me, he said, if you're gonna play any music, he says, I want you to read off of paper, read music sheets, right? And my teacher, uh, his name was Dennis Patterson. What he did, he gave everybody in the band, he told me, he says, okay, go to the record store and buy this particular record. Remember the, 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 the record KG? The dun 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 uh, Yeah, yeah. Dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, okay. yeah. I go and buy the record. My dad's like, no, no, you're not going to play that. He says, you, do you have a music sheet? I don't know. He said, no, you're not going to play it. So I was like, wow, wow. Because he, he, was, he was a stickler on that, right? But anyway, I went ahead and I, I had to learn it by ear. And this is how Dennis Patterson wanted us to do listen to our parts. And when we found the parts that we played, we listened to it and then we played it, right? I got the worst whooping in my life. <laughs> I marched in the Compton, Compton Parade, playing my trumpet, playing his music, and he's standing there with his hand in his pocket looking at me. And I already knew, because my mother and my father did this. If you did something wrong, it was like, that's one. You do something wrong again, that's two. Do something wrong again, that's three. So after three, you don't know when you're going to get attacked. And this one particular time, I got attacked coming out of the shower. I come out the shower, mama's standing there, and between her and me, and behind her is the door to exit. I got the worst woman in my life. And 
to this day. <laughs> to this day. I cannot stand chalkboards because dad would get a chalkboard, right? He did the lines and he did the spaces. The spaces are face, F-A-C-E. Lines are every good boy does fine. He'd put on the chart at the top of the corner. What key? How many sharps in the key of E? How many flats in the key of F? You know, that kind of thing. If you didn't know that, straight up beat down. So every time I see a chalkboard, I try to tear the chalkboard up, you know, like a hole in Or playing the piano. Your fingers have to be a certain way when you're playing the piano. If you didn't place the fingers right from middle to left to right, you got your hands smacked with a stick. I hated that. But anyway, to make a long story short, um, I continued my um, music career uh, actually behind the scenes. Uh, from 1979 to about 1980, I uh, worked with the group Switch. Um, I did their hair. I went to cosmetology school, got all my hours and did all that, right? So um, eventually I, I did hair, right? So the first person that I worked with was Phil Ingram. And I did his hair, and his hair was all feathered and everything and whatnot. Um, but behind the scenes, that allowed me to see a lot of things as far as an artist is supposed to do, and what an artist should do and what they should not do. Um, and then I was able to go on the uh, Tiger Flower tour with them. Uh, it was a Barcade's cameo come function and switch in the gap there. So I got a chance to see all those cats, right? And I knew for a reason that God had put me in a position where I was behind the scenes because he wanted me to see certain things. He wanted me to experience um, I guess the experience he wanted me to, 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 to have is to not be tempted with certain things. And when you're tempted with certain things, that will put a damper on the gift that God gave me. You know, and so I say like around uh, 19, was it uh, 1980, when the tour was over with, then I got into the film industry. Uh, I was in the Nutty Professor. Um, I was standing for um, Denzel Washington in uh, Fallen, uh, Crimson Tides. Um, I was in the uh, new Riot. I had a, a major, a, 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 kind of like a lead role in that. I played a, a bad guy. I played a Third Street Crip. In there, right? <laughs> uh, so then from there, um, continued to go down the road, like say around 2008. Um, I was talking to my sister and, and my brother, and we were kind of discussing the music thing, right? And my brother was like, you know, man, you need to go ahead and do the music thing because, you know, God gave you a gift. You know, why, let it, why let it just go the opposite direction and you go the opposite direction? You got a gift. So give the people the gift that God gave you. So, at that point, I produced my first album with uh, Mike Mann. Mike Mann is uh, an engineer over at KJLH. So he produced my first album. Uh, it was called The Truth, I think. Then um, after that, then um, Let Me Get My Groove On. I produced that by myself. Um, um, which was the other? It was, uh, uh, RB, RB 18, or RB 19 party. I produced that. And then um, this last album, which is for tonight, um, The Antidote. I produced that, all songs. Um, and so tonight, what we're having here is the listening party. You know, after uh, I do a, a, a short performance, um, I will go ahead and uh, allow our uh, engineer to play the album so you guys get a chance to get a listen to it. And then once you get a listen, give me your opinion of what you think the songs, you know, on the songs. Okay? So with that being said, 
we are going to go ahead and I'm going to do three songs. Uh, the first song is uh, uh, Keys of My Heart. That was from my first album. Uh, that song went, um, I think, number one for 14 weeks at uh, uh, Party Train Radio. And then 12 O'Clock Creek. Um, I think that was the longest run on uh, Party Train Radio. And then um, Crazy, which was seven weeks Party Train Radio, number one. Okay? So, with that all being said, let's uh, do it. And let me explain something to you. I am a little bit under the weather, okay? But I believe in continuing the show because the show must go on. So, if I squeak a little bit, it ain't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It ain't my fault. It's all anyway, right. we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this and make this work. Coming to you from Los Angeles, California. Harvest, 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 harvest. She's got the keys to my heart
pressure is rising high, getting close to that time. Tonight I'm gonna make you mine. You stay on my mind. Can't get enough of you. Always thinking of romantic things I can do to you. I saw you now. Tonight we're gonna be on one. Me loving you, you loving me. Tonight is going down. You're just what I need Now I'm on a mission Give me what I've been missing Come up like creep I'm gonna rock your body, baby It's about that Come up like creep The sweet love belongs to me It's about that Come up like creep I'm gonna rock your body Let me 